All right, YouTube, I wanted to do a video today showing you how to fix up games in Proton and sort of show you what the troubleshooting process in Linux is going to look like if you decide to switch over and do your gaming in Linux. So, you know, a lot of games work great out of the box and some don't. Fallout 4 is a good example of that. Um, the game's performance is good, but out of the box there's some pretty significant issues, uh, including um, unresponsive menu items, uh, Missing audio, you can tell like on this uh, starting screen here, there's no audio playing. Uh, there's also significant stuttering and uh, audio uh, skipping in the game as well, which basically makes the game unplayable. Um, so there are some cases I think we're doing a little bit of troubleshooting is worth it. And the difference between a game working well and not working is sometimes about 20 minutes of time. So I'm gonna go through and demonstrate a fix uh, and we're going to check the game out before and after and, and see what we're working with here. Let's go ahead and uh, start the game up. There's some lag in the menu. Might take a second for me to load the game up. I'm running on a, a hybrid drive, so sometimes the first couple loads are really slow, and then after that it speeds up a little bit. I have an NVMe, but for dumping games, I, I'd need a hard drive. It's just too much stuff to put on an NVMe. That gets really expensive. <laughs> All right, so audio is kind of cutting in and out. Boo. So what's interesting is up in the up in the corner of the screen here, you can see my frame rate counter. I'm locked at 60 frames per second. Um, this is running at like ultra settings at 1440p, but the game isn't running smooth at all, right? Like there's there's obvious um, kind of juddering, despite what the frame rate counter says. Um, there's input lag. It's not playable. It's not a good experience. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this game out. We're going to go back on my desktop. We're going to go into Steam. We're going to put some fixes on here. It's going to make this game play better. So I'll go ahead and stop this right now, and, and we'll get to that. All right, so back on the desktop here, I've got ProtonDB opened up. I've got Steam kind of going here in the background. Um, you can see that in the entries for the game, there are definitely other people that are complaining about the issues that we uh, just, just noticed. So. What they're suggesting is that we install uh, Proton 7 Release Candidate 6 custom um, Glorious Egg Roll version. Um, if you've never uh, heard of Glorious Egg Roll, uh, he's an awesome developer. I think he's working uh, with Red Hat. Uh, on, he's a wine maintainer, if, I, if I'm correct. Um, he's doing a lot of really excellent work. Um, he's got a Discord channel and a, and a Patreon. So, you know, throw that guy some bones. He deserves it. Um, what you're going to want to do is uh, go over to uh, GitHub here. If you haven't ever installed a custom Proton version, I'm going to explain how to do that. Um, Agrol Proton. And just Google that, you'll find them. So we got GE Custom here. You're going to want to go to Releases. The one that's mentioned explicitly uh, for this game is uh, 7, uh, Release Candidate 6. This is, this is a brand new release. Um, this is based off of Wine uh, version 7, major version 7. So what, what actually happens is that Valve's version uh, of Proton is running on Wine and a couple of other um, components and special sauce that they've thrown in to make these games work. But Valve's official version of Proton actually sort of lags behind where like the bleeding edge of Wine is. And as time goes on, uh, Valve takes those upstream changes to Wine and integrates that into Proton. Um, so in some occasions what you'll find is that there are uh, community versions of uh, Proton that are a little bit ahead of the stock version that have fixes that are going to make these games run better. And in time what you'll find is that um, there will be certain games where maybe you had to run a custom version. Valve will release a new uh, stable version of their Proton release, and those fixes will actually uh, sort of get rolled into like the mainline version of Proton. So just because you have to do this today doesn't mean that you'll always have to do it. But in Fallout 4's case, uh, we have to do this today. 
So what you're going to want to do if you've never uh, installed custom versions of Proton, go ahead and get the uh, tar file here. Extract that. Um, it's just like extracting a zip. So, you know, if I were to have this in my uh, downloads folder, I would just extract here. It's going to take some time. Um, yeah, it's extracted. I usually just cut and then I go to home. I show, uh, oops, I show my um, hidden files here. And the folder that you're going to want to uh, put that extracted uh, folder into is that's going to be in uh, .steam root compatibility tools.d. So once you've got that extracted here, you can see I've got a few custom versions here, uh, including the one that we're going to need for this fix. Once you've got that extracted in this folder, what you're going to want to do is, uh, if you had Steam open during the process, close it down and then start it back up. And that uh, custom version is now going to be listed in the um, compatibility uh, tools section uh, when you select the game. So for Fallout 4, what you would do is you go to uh, Properties here. You would go to Compatibility, force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. And we're going to use um, Proton 7 Release Candidate 6 GE1. Okay, go ahead and add that in. It's going to uh, sort of like refactor based off of that custom version that I just put in. You can see it sort of downloaded some stuff there. Um, and there was another component of the fix that we're going to have to go through, okay? So let's go back to ProtonDB. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get a sense for what people are saying. <clears throat> if there's a lot of sort of common suggestions, you can usually find that, that, that that's what you're going to want to do. And uh, let's just go for the top one here. I, I, I see some, some patterns here. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is these are launch options. These are like commands that the Steam client understands when you launch the game. And this basically sets like configuration options um, when the game is run that can help the game run better. Um, you're gonna see uh, them usually laid out like this. You wanna grab this percentage command percentage after the end here. So go ahead and just copy that. Let's go back into the uh, configuration options for Fallout 4. Properties. And you're going to want to do compatibility, or is it general? Yep, this general. Launch options. Paste that bad boy in there. I'm going to start the game back up. We're going to see what the experience is like after applying the fix. All right, back at it. Um, you can tell the uh, music is now working. There's no, uh, no weird crackling or anything like that. Let's go ahead and uh, start the game up and see what we got. What a weird looking robot. Or gooify at enemy. Hmm. Hmm. I wish NVMEs were cheaper. There are a lot of games that I'll stick on my uh, hard on my my NVMEs, uh, especially ones that I play a lot or that I'm actively interested in. But for my backlog, I just stick it on my hard drive. So that's a hell of a lot better. Definitely playable. We're getting a good uh, good 60 frames per second locked. Yeah, it looks good. I 
All right, cool. Well, there you go. That's what the experience is like, honestly. Uh, sometimes, you know, things will just work, and sometimes you gotta play with them a little bit, but that's life. Uh, is this running better? Hell yeah, it is. Um, I hope that was helpful to somebody. I hope maybe this uh, kind of sheds some light into, uh, you know, what the process is like. And just because a game isn't running good when you when you first start it up, you know, don't give up. Spend spend 20 minutes troubleshooting it. You might have a good experience. I think that this is a pretty good example of that. So, you know, maybe in a month or two, these fixes will get rolled into uh, mainline Proton and we won't have to do this anymore. But for now, it's the way it is. All right, you guys have a good one. Thanks.